So I think we can pretty much all agree that this year, 2020, has sucked, right? In basically every way possible, it's been an awful year and so many awful things going on. It's just been an awful year. And well, to go along with that, I'm going to be going over seven new fragrance releases from this year that in my opinion are underwhelming and just aren't all that good. Now, I do think there have been quite a few uh, good releases this year. So yeah, actually something good going for the year of 2020. And I actually already have that video planned out. Uh, I got 10 fragrances, 10 of um, my favorite releases so far this year. But I want to go ahead and get this one out first on seven underwhelming new fragrance releases. Uh, do me one real quick favor, just one thing. I know it's a lot to ask before we get into this video. Subscribe. If you like videos like this, if you come back to my channel and watch my videos every single day, go ahead and subscribe. That way these videos are delivered directly to your subscription feed and really just so I can see how many of you guys are actually watching. I want to see how many subscribers we gain after I say to subscribe. And I'm not going to ask you to like the video right now. I will ask you at the end to like the video if you like videos like this, but we're not to that point yet. So let's go and jump right into this video. First up, underwhelming releases. I hate to say it, Dior Homme 2020. I'm sorry, it's just not my favorite. Uh, one thing I will say that I like about it is the bottle. They refresh the bottle, and actually, if you hold this up to uh, the other Dior Homme and Dior Homme Intense bottles, uh, you'll see that this one is actually a bit smaller. It's a bit uh, thinner this way. We have completely lost focus on the bottle. It's a bit thinner this way um, and a little bit smaller. And looking at it, uh, there's just like less room right here on the sides. I don't know. They refresh the bottle. They refresh the presentation. And I can say I like that. I think the new bottle looks nice. It still looks classy. It still looks like Dior Homme. But the smell, which is the most important part for me falls flat you know it's a very heavy cashmere fragrance right that's kind of the main note here there's nothing wrong with it i'm not saying it smells bad because it doesn't it's a fragrance from dior they release things that smell good to the masses so you know it smells good to the masses but as an enthusiast as a collector it just doesn't really do it for me you know i got into dior homme and dior homme intense and dior homme parfum as a collector, you know, if I would have been just your normal person who just likes to smell good and smell clean, I wouldn't have liked those. But because I really started getting into kind of more the artistic side of fragrances, I really started to like those. And, you know, smelling this one, it just doesn't hold up, you know, like those other fragrances. Again, not saying it's bad, not saying it smells bad. It's just a bit underwhelming for me. I was expecting more. I was hoping for more. And I in my opinion, we just didn't really get that. Second up here, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP Intense. So this one I was really, really looking forward to uh, because, well, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP, one of my personal favorite fragrances. I love that stuff. It's a great, versatile scent for men. The Intense version here, Intense EDP, just fell flat. This one shares some similarities with Dior Homme 2020 in that it's a cashmere based fragrance just like Dior Homme 2020 we've kind of had a trend here and you know I'm just not a big fan of that note in general and this one again goes in that direction and I was expecting more I was hoping for more and we just didn't get it here and again I'm not saying that this is a bad fragrance I'm not saying you should never go out and buy any of these it's not what I'm trying to get at, at all uh, but I am saying that for me they just kind of let me down a little bit. You know, this video isn't titled uh, 10 of the worst fragrance releases, 10 fragrance releases that sucked. They're just fragrance releases that kind of just underwhelmed me, just kind of let me down. And this is one of those fragrances where I was really excited for it and I got my nose on it and I just wasn't too impressed. Moving along, we have Nautica Midnight Voyage. Could you see this one coming? I know I sure could. You know, uh, again, you know, it doesn't smell bad. In fact, it smells pretty good. I mean, you got to admit, something like this does smell good. However, I was wanting a bit more from it. I was, you know, Nautica Voyage really is one of my favorite fragrances in the cheap category. Around $12 for a 100ml bottle, and it smells great. They have quite a few other flankers as well. I really like Heritage. Uh, N83 is not too bad. They have Sport. Um, you know, my favorite's always going to be the original. The Nautica Voyage line is pretty good for the price. Uh, this one, Midnight Voyage, 
you know, looking at the note breakdown, I was kind of expecting it to go that way, and well, it did. Yeah, it went in the blue fragrance direction, Sauvage, Carbon, Dylan Blue, you get the point. That's kind of where it went. At some point, I'm sure we knew it was going to happen, right? Every other brand just about has put out a blue fragrance. I'm sure Nautica was going to do it at some point, and they did with this one. Again, not saying it's a bad scent, not saying it smells bad um, in terms of mass appeal and compliment getting and versatility. It's going to check all those boxes. But from a collector's standpoint and from someone who really, truly loves the original Voyage, you know, going out and smelling this one, it just kind of left a little bit to be desired for me. Up next, we have the Ice Cream Fragrance, Light Blue Love is Love by Dolce & Gabbana. Yes, if you look at the note breakdown, I do believe it has ice cream, isn't it? It's something like that. I think it is ice cream. Uh, definitely piques your interest and makes you want to try it. That's kind of what it did for me. And it just didn't really do a whole lot for me. You know, I love light blue Owen Tense. You know, I love the original as well, but I think Owen Tense is a more well-rounded and improved version. Uh, light blue Sun is okay. Not really all that necessary in my opinion. This is kind of another one where not really all that necessary. It's kind of that light blue DNA, but just with a sweeter, somewhat gourmand type of touch. Just kind of a, a creamy sweetness right from that ice cream note or whatever it is that you're getting from this fragrance just gives a bit of an edible dessert type of smell not saying it's bad but do we really need that i mean we have light blue which is an aquatic why do we need something with a bit of sweetness i don't know it's just something that i would never wear doesn't really do a whole lot for me you know if it's something you enjoy that's awesome you know it's great if you guys enjoy some of these scents you know and again i'm not saying any of these are bad but i do think you know for me personally I was just a bit underwhelmed by this one and I was hoping to get a little bit more out of it. Bath and Body Works Atlantic. I picked this one up because a lot of people were saying this smells very close to Invictus Aqua 2016. So being an Invictus Aqua 2016 enthusiast, I had to check it out. I had to see what it was all about. Got this for about $30 online, so I figured, you know, why not? Um, I got it in and it smells really nothing like Invictus Aqua either version. Um, a little bit kind of an Invictus slash Invictus Aqua vibe to some extent, but not enough to where I would be saying, oh, this smells like the 2016 or, oh, this smells a lot like Invictus Aqua. Kind of goes in its own direction with a bit more sweetness. And it's just, you know, not really an Invictus Aqua alternative in my opinion. I mean, it could be if you want a little bit of Invictus Aqua, but also something, you know, that's not Invictus Aqua, but it's definitely not a clone or something that I would say, hey, go out and get this if you want Invictus Aqua. It's not going to be the situation here. If you want Invictus Aqua, your best bet, just go out and get Invictus Aqua. It's about $50 online on like Fragrance Net and all that stuff. And it's a great summer scent. This one, like I said, in my opinion, just a bit underwhelming. And I would say, you know, for most of you guys out there, when it comes to this one, I would just say skip it, right? A lot of these other ones, you know, I could say, hey, you know, go try these. See if you like them because I know like uh, Durham 2020, Dolce & Bonnet, the one, Intense. I know a lot of people do like them, so go try those. But Bath & Body Works Atlantic, we've smelled this before, even more so than a lot of these other ones. I don't think this one is really worth trying. Skip this one, save the 20 to $30 and put it towards something else, in my opinion. Moving along, Polo Deep Blue. Parfum, they had to get in on the blue fragrance category as well, and they did it here with this one. Does it smell nice? Of course it does, right? It's a polo fragrance. It's, uh, you know, polo blue, but with ambroxan and all that blue fragrance stuff. Of course it smells good, but it's, a, you know, not something that I find myself reaching for. If I want blue fragrance, I go for Aqua Atlantique. Dylan Blue, so on and so forth, right? Those are kind of my bread and butter, my favorites of the blue fragrances. They just work the best on my skin. Uh, again, nothing wrong with this one. It does smell nice. It will get you compliments. It will get you positive attention. It will be very, very versatile for you, and it does perform pretty good. Uh, you know, for me, I was just, you know, would like a bit more out of something like this because I think the polo line is pretty good for the most part although maybe a bit tired uh, but still you know this one not saying it's bad but it's just not really anything that wows me last up we have a Calvin Klein fragrance CK1 summer 2020 a lot of times these Calvin Klein summer fragrances or at least some of them 
have been pretty good. I believe it's the 2013, um, like 2016. Those were a couple really good ones from this line uh, for their summer releases that are actually really nice scents. Uh, this one just isn't all that great. Uh, I think the 2018 was maybe a little bit better. This one just wasn't really anything that's really worthwhile in my opinion. Now on the other hand, CK Eternity Summer 2020, that's a different story. That one's fantastic. A great, great summer release, which you will be seeing coming up here soon. But this one, CK One Summer 2020, not really the best. I think they could have done a little bit better with this one. And I think this is one where you could probably skip it and be okay. And maybe just go for some of the previous uh, CK One Summer uh, summer releases like the 2018, 2016, whichever ones you can get your hands on without having to pay a lot of money. So guys, that was going to do it for me. That was seven underwhelming new fragrance releases. Again, you know, not throwing shade or hating on any of these fragrances, just kind of expressing to you that I was expecting more and didn't really get what I was expecting. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I already have a video planned for my uh, favorite releases so far, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done for you guys. Uh, Cause like I said, I do think there have been quite a few pretty solid new releases this year. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. I appreciate you stopping in and watching. And like I mentioned in the beginning, if you like videos like this, hit the like button. It shows me that you do like videos like this cause I'll kind of go through um, my videos and you know I'll look at the ones that have the most likes I'll look at that topic and then I'll say okay you know this one got substantially more likes than my other videos so how can I do another video similar to this one that's kind of how I plan these videos so the videos that you really like you know hey I like these types of videos hit the like button it kind of shows me that you want to see more of things like that and that's what I'll do so thank you for watching guys stay safe stay healthy we'll see you tomorrow night with another one take care